going on, everybody? Ted again with the Countdown City Geeks. I am here with Namor himself, the Noche Huerta. How's it going, sir? Pretty good. It's, uh, it's fantastic to be here. It's my first time in Houston, and it's a wonderful city. That was one of the most interesting, uh, very powerful panels I've seen in a very long time. What was that like for you, talking about um, not only your experiences on Wakanda Forever, but you know the effort that it took to really get the Mesoamerican culture and the language and the people on screen perfectly? Yeah, well, it's not, it's not just me. It's uh, the whole team, you know? And it, when you have a director, the head, like the director or producer, and they are sensitive and they are totally open to new ideas and they are w willing to make a right, a correct representation. So this kind of things happen, you know? It's not a personal effort. It's a, it's a community trying to make the best and I think it was reflected in the movie, it reflected on the screen, and that's why, it's authentic, you know what I mean? And that's why the people feel that movie, even though they are not Mayan or whatever, they feel it like close. It doesn't matter, I mean, many people all around the world feel represented even though it's a different con different continent, different culture, different Absolutely. whatever, but they feel it because it's human and because, again, the whole team take care of uh, put together all the elements uh, to, to, to create this fantastic world, which is beautiful and ba is based in the reality because Mayan people, now they live in that kind of societies. I mean, not like in the movie, mm -hmm. but the roots are there. You know, the community, they, they, they grow their own food, they, 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 you know, they have their own resources. It's, it's fantastic. You know, people uh, might have just seen you the, for the first time in the Marvel Universe, but I've been watching you since Narcos. Yeah. And Rafael Quintero was one of my favorite characters. You were so menacing on that show <laughs> how fun was that and how much do you miss that character oh it, it was so much fun and of course i'm not that that kind of bad guys i'm bad but not that bad um you did really well <laughs> no but it, it was it was so funny to make it because it's uh you know when when you're an actor you you have the opportunity to just to play you know but it, play in the whole sense of the world you know, like a kid, Absolutely. you're pretending, yeah. uh, but for real, yeah. you know? Like when the kids, they play like, I don't know, uh, they are hiding or they are doing whatever thing. They believe strongly what what are they doing. And uh, as an actor, it's exactly the same thing, but they pay you. <laughs> Well, thank you so much, uh, not only for all the work you've done, but also the effort and the time that you took to make sure that the, the, the Mayan, uh, the Mesoamerican uh, culture was represented authentically, as you put it. Thank you so much for doing that. And we really can't wait to see you again. Yeah, me too. Me too. I hope so. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Come see Tenochtitlan at Comic Palooza this weekend. Take it easy, guys.